Hello, great lords and ladies of Westeros. Welcome back to the channel. This is your liege lord, the Godless Gamer, and today we are continuing our epic Game of Thrones campaign as House Fairgrave. You're watching episode 6. Episode 5 was very eventful and very beneficial for us. We got a lot of conquests. We didn't get all the conquests that we wanted because some of the people that we declared war against were a bunch of babies and cowards and they ran to our liege lord for help and he made us stop fighting them. So we're currently waiting for some truces to end, but in the meantime, I'm fabricating some more claims against some other people so we can get a bunch of possible wars going uh, at any one time. We always have a, a war available to us. So I'm, con I'm fabricating another claim against a new power here. We're fabricating a claim against Den's Lane. Now, we did get that, uh, that innovation that allows us to get multiple claims in a war. So we're going to get both of these. Both of these are on my border. And they're both going to be very quick to get. So I'm going to get both of these before we declare a war against them. We want to make these wars efficient. As efficient as possible. The two truces that we have are with Hattersley and Fang Hill. One of them is two years. One of them is four years. So not too long. Not too long to wait. In the meantime, we're growing our army. I upgraded everything. One of our heavy infantry units, or one of our regiments, isn't quite at full strength yet, but I just can't afford it. I need to save up a little bit of money. And that's what we're going to use this free time to do. We're going to, uh, you know, save up some money, get ready for our wars, get our army up to full strength, maybe do an event that's going to relieve some stress. I don't like how much stress that we have right now. I'm not really liking it. But I think we can deal with it. One last thing that we need to talk about, guys, and it's really important. It, uh, this is something that can have really bad consequences if we don't take care of it. And that's the rivalry that we have with House Martell. Not only are we rivals with the ruler of Dorne, but our houses are feuding. So House Fairgrave and House Martell are in a feud. And I don't like this. This is a very dangerous rivalry, rivalry and I want, I want it to go away as soon as possible. I'm in the process of swaying him. The priority is getting rid of the rivalry. The house feud is just going to kind of have to take care of itself. We'll just try to stay on his good side and we'll try to keep a good opinion with him and hopefully the feud will go away. But what we're concerned with right now is the rivalry. That's the immediate threat. He could be scheming against me and I don't know it. I've got my spy master on disrupt schemes. He's going to protect me for as long as possible. But the sooner we get rid of that rivalry, the sooner I can have him start finding secrets. I want to put my spy master in Casterly Rock because I would really like to start getting some secrets against uh, a few vassals in the Westerlands. Now, why do I want to do that? Well, it's going to come in handy in the future because when we start fighting our liege and start getting claims against our liege, in order to press those claims, we have to we have to create a claimant faction. And if we want help from other vassals in the realm, having hooks on them will be really useful because we can force them to join us. So when we inevitably create a claimant faction, the more hooks that we have on some of these vassals, the more people that we'll be able to pull in to help us win. So I'm going to be putting off a war with my liege for as long as we can. In order to finish Casterly Rock, I will have to take the actual <laughs> rock. But that's something for the future. In the meantime, we'll get some other conquests. But let's keep an eye on this rivalry. Let's keep an eye on our stress. Let's keep an eye on our money. And let's see how this turns out, guys. I think we're... Things have been going well so far for us, so I'm confident we'll have another great episode. I was able to convince my son to be temperate. I think I brought in a knight. Let me double check. I think one of those marriages was a knight. Yep. Erston. 31 prowess. Just gonna make sure none of my counselors are knights. Nope, we're okay. It behooves a lord to spend time at sea with the salty air in his face and fine vessel beneath his feet. Today sees my personal craft and a small escorting squadron out for drills, practice, and pleasure. And we came upon a whale. And because of our amazing prowess, we have a 92% chance to get 300 gold. And we got it. What a way to start the episode. That's exactly what I needed. 
And we're succeeding in swaying this guy. Yes. I'm getting good vibes, guys. I'm feeling it. This is going to be a great episode. I also commissioned a crown. I'm making a new artifact. Let's see if it's better than the one I'm wearing. But even if it's not, um, I might give it to my son. So my son can start filling out his inventory. My daughter's being naughty. And I could really use this stress relief. I could really use it. But I have to discipline my daughter. She's scaring people. If she had an intrigue education, that's, that's why I looked at this. She's not. She's getting a diplomatic education. So this is not something she... She, she shouldn't be <laughs> acting like a fool. We're punishing our daughter for being naughty. We got some stress relief out of it, too. Let's give our crown a vassal opinion modifier. Four more months and we will promote our culture in Lannisport. So once that's done, all of my domain, my personal domain, everything that I own, personally, is of my culture. Obviously, not my whole realm, but at least Lannisport will be. I want to start increasing the development in my counties as well. So once this promote culture is done, we're going to increase the development in Lannisport and in Fair Island. Everything that I own. Always prioritize the stuff you own first. Let the vassals and all of these lords and stuff, let them take care of their own realms. So that's what we're going to do. My wife is going to help me with money. If our stress really gets bad again, it's okay for now. But if it starts getting bad again, we'll go on a hunt or something. I can increase my crown authority, but I don't need to. Vassal opinions are okay. Courtier opinions are okay. Alright. One of my counts died. One of my dynasty members who I landed just died, got himself killed. Alright. Hopefully this kid doesn't die too, because then we're just going to re-inherit it back again. And I don't really have anybody to, to land. I don't have any dynasty members kicking around. We haven't really started spreading our family and and growing our family yet. So we might inherit this back if something happens to this kid. My nephew. He was my nephew. My wife will most likely decrease the, the quality. Just leave her alone, wifey. Come spend time with me. Let's make another child. We still want a spare son. And we're running out of time to have another kid, so... Stop bothering her and come to my bedroom. Let's make a baby. Apparently my son was traveling without my permission. I didn't know he was traveling. Why was I not told? <laughs> There's a certain intensity to Benisa's gaze. She walks, walks also with a proud grace. She talks with conviction and firmness, with exquisite clarity of syllable. Elders five times her age listen intently as she does so. 
drawn to the magnetism of Benisa's personality as if moths to a flame. This ten-year-old is impressing people? There is something special about this child. The old songs talk about those that are marked to carry forward their people. A figure of great bearing and greater ability. Could it be true? Could Benisa be anointed by fate? She gains destined for glory. She gets more monthly lifestyle experience. And the daughter that I punished? She's the one that's flourishing? Alright. Let's nurture it. We're done promoting our culture in Lannisport. Now let's increase the development. Let's start working on that. Even though Lannisport is the most developed county in the Westerlands, let's just keep developing it. It's at 19 development. Casterly Rock is 18. Faircastle isn't bad. We're at 15. Some more stress relief. 38 stress. Damn. Thank you. My severely injured? Oh no, he's just wounded. My wounded brother wants me to declare him my regent. I think my wife would be better. I'm declining him. We're friends, so this opinion hit shouldn't be too bad. We're okay. Apparently he's in the arbor. What the hell is he doing in the arbor? Why is he over here? <laughs> is he getting drunk on wine? Is he on a wine escapade? No wonder he's got severely injured. Or wounded, sorry. Let's hope he survives. Is this like a holy site or something? No? <laughs> what the hell is he doing on down here? What the hell? Get back to work. You're supposed to be running ruling feast fires for me another person gallivanting around the world we got a new high priest who's not gonna live long he's 71 but he's okay 20 learning i'll take it one of the truces is over i think yeah, we can fight Hattersley now. Now, this is going to be tricky. We really don't want them to go crying to our liege lord again the second we declare war. So we're gonna just going to have to do everything we can to try to win the war as quickly as possible. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll capture somebody in a battle. I don't know. But we won't know until we try. There's not much I can do if she goes crying to the liege lord. There's not really anything I can do about it. So we just have to keep our fingers crossed. This isn't going to be better than my crown. Mine's of better quality. Powerful vassal opinion plus two. Mine's better. It lasts longer. It's of higher quality. We'll give this one to my son. Let's give him a crown for that noggin. Please capture somebody. Oh, damn it. My liege lord wants me to be his regent. Sure, I'll be your regent. Just let me take this conquest. We can assault the fort. I'm doing it just to speed it up. Make sure we get it. We got it. No liege lord getting in our way. Perfect. That's what I want to see. Let's hope we get the same amount of luck when in, when the time comes to fight Fang Hill. And take Clegane's keep. <laughs> the hound and the mountain are not going to like when we take their house, but 
too bad. Three years until we can do that. Let's tell some prisoners to get out. Get some money. I could steal gold from my liege because I'm his regent. But I get a secret, and if he finds out, it's a crime, and that would be a reason for him to lock me up. I don't need the money. I think I feel like this is a desperate measure. If you're really in desperate times and you really need the money, and you really think that you can succeed, I mean, give it a try, but I'm not risking it. I don't need to take risks right now. Our sway scheme against him is not going well. We can do something about that. I'm in the learning lifestyle. I'm going to get pedagogy and then maybe one more perk. We can grab open-minded. Different culture opinion plus 15. So that affects him. So we can improve his opinion this way. This will be a useful perk for us to get. And then after this, I'm going to get into diplomacy. And getting befriend will help too. We can try to befriend him if all of these sway schemes keep failing. We'll try to befriend him. I round a corner to find Benisa and my Septon Eric engaged in quite a debate. Not an argument as far as I can tell, but rather an, a spirited exchange of ideas. Benisa, her eyes bright, is fervently contending some religious minutia in great detail. Eric, to his credit, appears to be treating Benisa as an equal despite their difference in years. Yeah, the, quite a difference in years. <laughs> this guy is 61 years older than her. But my daughter can become shrewd. I wish this was happening for my heir. But it's happening for her. Let's try it. 75% chance? I like those odds. She didn't get it. We failed. Three years till this truce ends. I really want to switch my Castellan up, but currently he's protecting me, and as long as this rivalry exists, I'm going to have him keep protecting me. Yeah, this feud between our houses is still going. All of this hassle because we murdered his brother. I mean, we put him on the throne of Dorne. Does, sh he should be grateful to us. He's on the throne. He is where he is because we murdered his brother. So I don't understand, man. <laughs> we helped you. My brother is severely wounded and he's not being healed. I don't think he has a great maester. I want to see his maester, I'm curious. He's a renowned physician, what the hell? He's amazing. I don't want my brother to die. He's my Castellan, he's a really good Castellan. I can utilize all of his skills. Please don't die, bro. I need you, man. My daughter wants to be temperate. 
one more year and I can influence my son again. We discovered banking. That's something that we were being exposed to. We're about nine years away from getting our next domain limit. What are we being exposed to now? I'm happily soaking at the bathhouse, sharing deep reflections and salacious jokes with Daniela. As I feel all tension leaving my body, I realize that it's not just the warm water loosening my muscles. She becomes my friend. We start a seduce scheme, not interested. I guess it wouldn't be too bad to befriend her. She's relatively young. I don't want to befriend somebody who's just going to die in three seconds, but she's okay. I'll become her friend. <laughs> this sway scheme keeps failing. It occurs to me, as I watch Benisa practicing sword strokes in the courtyard, that, he, she, that she is really developing into quite the physical specimen. Another stroke hisses through the air, Benisa following through with, the poise and with poise and determination. I shudder to imagine what it would be like to be on the end of such a blow, but a small part of me wonders whether such a focus on power is truly beneficial. Yeah, whatever the option is, that's going to relieve my stress. Yes. She gains the trait strong. There we go. So she didn't get shrewd, but she got strong. I'll take it. Why is none of this happening for my son? Why is this happening to the wrong child? We're about to get the next claim over here so we can fight this duchy if we want. While we're waiting for this truce with Fang Hill to end. My son wants to be ambitious. Great. That's great. So, November 336. So in one more year, exactly. I want to leave as few of his personality tra traits up to chance. If I can decide as many as I can, personally... If I can get him good traits, I'm going to do it. Like, I'm going to do it. I'm not going to let the game decide to give him some stupid trait. If I have the control, I'm going to use it. So as soon as we can persuade him again, he's already ambitious. Maybe we can get him to be just or brave. Oh no, we're not brave. We're solitary. Just at least. So we got our claim. He has an alliance with a baron who has 1300 men. I think we can do this by ourselves without needing an ally. We'll see. The option is there if I want to take it. Lady Benisa approaches me with three scrolls of parchment in, my, in her arms. My lord, I have drafted trade pro proposals for neighboring rulers. I'm certain that a deal can be struck that will benefit both parties. Lord Desmond. This is our ally? I'm doing him.
Where do you think you're going? The harumphing of a horse shakes me from a slight reverie. Looking up, I see a charger board warrior slowly trotting his steed up the courtyard. Ronald, is that you? He looks down, bowing his head respectfully. I come seeking a child. Benisa is under your care, is she not? My barely perceptible head nod is rather offset by the approach of a watchful guard. Have no fear, I am a renowned I am renowned in my own right, but word of Benisa's talent spreads like wildfire. He removes his helmet. I would be honored to make her acquaintance and perhaps help nurture that promise. We can give her the trait hostile looter now. <laughs> We're training our daughter. Somebody's giving me an artifact. I'll take it, but I'm not going to use it. I'll give it to my son. That's something that he can use. By the way, my brother is better. He was healed. That's good. We're illustrious now. Our liege is forcing us to stop again. Damn it. We were so close. We had 78. I'll do what he says. We don't want to be a criminal to our liege. We don't want to get locked up and executed. But on the bright side, we did get two, two pressed claims. We still have these two claims. And now that they're pressed, even if I die... My son will inherit claims, and he won't have to refabricate these. Alright, so we got unlucky. They went crying to their liege. And they made us stop. We're gonna, re we're gonna wait for Fang Hill now. I would like for your son and heir, Robert Fairgrave, to become the squire of Arkin, a most skilled knight. We could give our son the squire trait, and he could become a knight. He's not going to become an actual knight. We're not going to put him on the battlefield, obviously. We're not going to take risks with our only son, but at least we can give him the knight trait. I'm down with that. One more month and we can influence our son again. He will accept. We can get him to be just. What a delightful day it is. The wind is refreshing, the sun is warm, insect insects chirp happily in the undergrowth. Everything seems bright and vivid, and it's all because that worthless cur, Jamie, is finally blessedly dead. This was our nemesis. I can't contain my grin as I tr 
As a train of his friends and family filed past me on their way to say their last goodbyes, the scowls I get in return from the bereaved only makes me s smile wider. I turn to depart, and a young beggar's eyes go as wide as my smirk, as I cheerfully flip him a coin of such value that his entire family will eat well for weeks. So we are just a happy camper. Our nemesis is dead. I don't need all of this stress relief. Let's get this little bit of stress relief and some prestige. Nice. So that takes care of one of the rivalries. Now we still have this rival. We still haven't buried the hatchet. My daughter wants to be ambitious now. I'm going to move my steward now. Increase the development in Clifton. We got our next legacy. We're going to grab Convergent Blood. The next one will definitely be Resilient Bloodline, and then we can get out of the blood tree. You guys know, or at least most of you know, this is where I like to start, because as soon as you start reinforcing uh, the congenital traits, and you start helping the odds out, the sooner you, you can start benefiting from it. So that's why I like to get these early. Two blades rattle, rattle together in the bright sunlight, scraping along each other's lengths with a metallic shing. Benisa dances backwards lightly, holding the blade as if it were an extension of her arm. Her sparring partner, Erston, one of my best knights, he has 31 prowess, uh, staggers after her, puffing lightly. The two have been sparring for a while now, and Benisa has barely broken a sweat. I wonder if she's even trying. <laughs> this 13-year-old prodigy. We can teach her, and we can give her four prowess. And relieve some stress. My daughter has 21 prowess at 13 years old. Unbelievable. My daughter is a superhero. Wait a minute, I thought we already did this. All right, whatever. Confirmed, we're getting it. He's gonna be a squire, and he's gonna get the knight trait. How much longer for our truce? 12 months. I'm on my way to the Sept one morning when I run into Lady Benisa, who is carrying a small bag. Glancing around, she conspiratorially opens it, revealing all sorts of food and drink. We can have a lovely picnic with our wife. Let's hope she gets pregnant. Let's hope this is the most, the most erotic picnic ever. So we can get her pregnant. Come on! We don't have much time. 46 is when it stops. Come on, you two. I have a bunch of money. Let me repair some stuff. Rain for a tournament.
All right, let's move along. Move along. Nine months. We can petition our liege. Let's do it during this peacetime. I'm going to ask him to build another sept for free. Let's hope he does it. Only cost me 100 prestige. Thank you, my liege. He did it. He built a temple in Balefire. He started construction. That's in my holding. That's right here in Clifton. So another free settlement. Open-minded. We're getting into diplomacy now. I don't need to keep swaying him. I don't need to keep wasting my time doing this. I'm confident that he's not scheming against me. My Castellan is going to help me with my diplomacy lifestyle experience now that we just got into diplomacy. And my Spymaster is going to start finding these secrets that we need against, uh, against these other vassals. My son's last personality trait is diligent. So temperate, ambitious, just, and diligent. That is a grade A personality right there. He does have to deal with some stress. Diligent reduces the amount of stress that he, uh, he gets rid of. And ambitious increases the amount of stress that he gets. So stress is going to be an issue, but hopefully... We'll take control of him in time to be uh, to be able to manage it well. But I like his personality. Diligent and ambitious give you a lot of skill points. Fund an expedition to Old Valyria? How much is that going to cost me? 500 gold. I just got the ability to do this because I just got 500. I'm not going to waste all my money on that. I don't need to. I can't just spend my money willy-nilly. Somebody's plotting to kill me. Of course they are. Okay. I'm putting my <laughs> I'm putting my spy master by, back on protect me. The success chance is 25%. All right, now that my Castellan is helping me, what is it? Still 25? I'm going to hire a bodyguard. One of my acclaimed knights, this Herculean giant, he can protect me. Let's give myself another layer of defense just in case somebody tries to kill me.
Now they're down to 21%. I don't have a court yet, so I can't put my marshal on manager royal guards, but if I could, I would. I just can't. Somebody's trying to kill my daughter, too. Somebody's re Somebody really has it in for me. It's gotta be this guy. It has to be. I was hoping that we'd, we would have buried the hatchet by now. Before all this kind of stuff happens. I'm gonna go back to swaying him. I'm just gonna go back to swaying him. I'm not doing anything else. Would he like a poem? <laughs> We're gonna be able to befriend people soon, so... Once we get that ability, we'll do it. My beauty, Lady Benisa, knows a lot about how to navigate the many relationships at court. She suggests that she could put her expertise to good use in my diplomatic overtures towards Prince Merrick. She's helping me with my sway scheme. Twenty-eight days. The more I study the noble art of statecraft, the more I realize how beneficial good relations with my neighbors are. I ought to have one of them visit my court so that I can show them just how good a friend I can be, but who should I invite? <laughs> Two knights watchmen? One of them is already terrified of me. Maybe this guy will be better. Let's do Lord Master Morgil of Molestown. I can get a diplomacy perk if this works. And we just buried the hatchet. There we go. Thank you. Let's see if the scheme goes away. Let's see if they go away. Now that we're not rivals. Yeah, look at that. They just decreased. So that pretty much confirms it. <laughs> that pretty much confirms it. Until these schemes go away, I'm gonna have my I'm gonna keep my spy master on protect me. But I'm very glad that we're not rivals anymore. Alright, warm welcome. Your wife is a fine woman. He says, ponderously swirling his cup of mead. His eyes are set on Benisa, who is seated further down the table. My lord, my dear lord Ronald, do I have your permission to arrange a private audience with Lady Benisa? Nothing untoward, of course. Just a simple dinner in my chambers. Well, she's not, she's not going to have any children by him, so even if they do the nasty, there's no risk of her getting pregnant. We can try to listen in. No problem. She's my soulmate. I trust her. And look at that. We captured somebody really valuable, so we can get this without uh, our liege lord getting in the way. Thank you. Excellent. So that finishes Casterly Rock, except Casterly Rock. So that's the whole duchy. And we took Clegane's Keep, so... Sorry, the ha sorry Hound and Sorry Mountain, or... Gregor and Sandor... Your house is mine. We got a free lifestyle perk. Nice. Okay. So now that we can befriend people, let's try to befriend. 
We can negotiate an alliance with him. I'll do it. Ninety seven percent chance that we would become his friend. So so cool. We got our alliance with Dorn back. That's a really powerful alliance. move our steward again. If I if RNG screwed me there, I would have been so mad, but <laughs> we got lucky. It was only 1%, but this game has a way of giving you the middle finger. During my afternoon stroll down the streets of Paracastle, my son Robert runs up to me. Father, they just start swinging at one another when he is interrupted by a high-pitched shriek turning our attention to the fight down the street. There's a 5% chance that I can get the firm hand perk. Or we can further our son's diplomacy education. I doubt we'll get this firm hand perk. Let's help our son. Let's help our boy. Brandon, a hedge knight, has arrived at my court. He has requested permission to rest at my keep for a short while before he resumes his travels. In return, he has offered me his service for the duration of his stay. He doesn't impress me. <laughs> he just dies. He doesn't take rejection well. So we have to wait three years to fight Den's Lane again. And I would like to get two more claims. We have Pleasant Hills. I want to get Round Towers and Sting Rock. And then we can try to fight a war with this guy to get all three of these at once. Well, we'll give it the good old-fashioned try. So there's a new king on the Iron Throne. In the light of the Seven, I now proclaim Aegon the Seventh of House Targaryen, King of the Andals, the Rhoynar, and the First Men. Lord of the Seven Kingdoms and Protector of the Realm. Long may he reign. Let's see how much we helped our son. He got three more diplomacy. Nice. Come on, I want to commission another artifact. Hurry up. There we go. <laughs> right when I said it. We're going to forge some regalia now. Let's see if we can get better rega regalia than we have. It's the lowest quality thing that I'm wearing. We became his friend. Now my brother-in-law and I are friends. So what a complete 180. So we started the, the episode of being a rival of this guy. Him hating us. And now we're friends. 
We showed him the error in his thinking. He should be our friend because we put him where he is. We made him the man he is. He wouldn't have his position without us. So he came around. He saw reason. Uh-oh. This isn't good, guys. This is one of those events that we don't like. So we almost fell off our horse. So we're going to get an event in the future where something bad is going to happen to us. We're either going to die or something is going to happen to us, guys. Alright. We're going to have to be ready to take over as our son pretty soon. We've got three years until he becomes an adult. Let's make sure that he's at least 16 before something stupid happens to us. I hate those events. I really, really hate those events. Because you know something bad is going to happen. So we don't have to do any line of succession managing... We just have the one son, so we don't have to do anything special. And he was just injured. He's traveling. Why is he going places without my permission? Stop leaving. What the hell are you doing? This is the kind of stuff that gets people killed. Alright, now that he's my friend, he's not gonna scheme against me again. We'll start finding secrets again. My daughter came of age, the prodigy. She got the best education you can get. Figured as much. I would be very disappointed after all of that. And she got like a really bad education. So there we go. Now our alliance with Craig Hall is pretty much set in stone. Her destiny has been realized. She gains Tool of Fate. This character's natural magnetism marked them out from a young age. And their nurtured talents set them apart from their peers. No prowess lost from age. She gets more prestige, more monthly renown, more monthly lifestyle experience, and general opinion. And she increases all of this. Look at this. My daughter is amazing. Wow. If only it had been my son instead. Alright, whatever comes first. The truce ending with Denslane or this final claim against uh, uh, Rundridge. Whatever comes first. I think Rundridge is coming first. I just became regent. My liege lord is traveling. Where's he headed? He's going to a tournament. It's still low quality regalia, but let's at least compare them. 
prestige, short reign, and spouse opinion. Prestige, spouse opinion, and renown. The only difference is the renown trading for short reign. I'll take this. I'll take the new one. And my boy can get the other one. And now that he's back in my court, my maester needs to heal him. Now. One of my daughters acting like a fool. I don't have any stress, so maybe I can I can stress out a little bit for her. 45 stress, 22 stress. I could just say I don't care, because I honestly don't. I really don't care. One of my duties as regent is to fulfill the mandate set for me by Lord Fenton, which at present demands cold, hard cash. If I do what he wants, it's gonna cause some strife between me and my other... my peers, the other vassals. cost 10 strife but i can get some gold out of this one 99 chance he gets some gold and so do i but it's only 10 strife i'm taking it i'll take that money take that money baby Okay, we got all our claims. Let's fight and run, Ridge. To make their to make sure this ends as quickly as possible, I'm gonna go directly for their capital. Let's see if we can capture somebody. My son was healed, and now he's scarred. Just like his dad. <laughs> uh, but that's a positive trait, so it's okay. My alliance with Krakal. Is over. But we can negotiate another one. But if he dies of the Great Pox, he has the Great Pox. If he dies, another al this alliance will go away too. And if he dies, the throne goes to his youngest son. Only if his if or his his only son, it's gonna go to him. But if he dies, it'll go to this kid that we've got this matrilineal marriage with. With my daughter. So him dying might be a good thing. But this kid would still be in the way. Alright, not ideal. 
It's not the end of the world, but it's not... It's not bad either. After winning another game of Kvass against myself, I can't help but think that perhaps my towering intellect could improve this game somewhat. But what change would make the most sense? I have no idea. <laughs> the king is clearly too weak. My evening has been consumed by an aged explorer, Axel, wishing to tell me the exotic stories of their exploits and adventures on the Atlantic Ocean. We're not on Earth. This is not... <laughs> this is not the Earth. Yeah, tell me of these made-up stories about this place called the Atlantic Ocean in Westeros. Stupid. Critical thinker. I don't need stress relief, so it's either maritime mysteries or critical thinker. Intrigue or diplomacy? Our diplomacy is already amazing. Let's do intrigue. That'll protect us against schemes. to 96. Alright, that was really good. That's a great way to end it, because we, uh, we did just go over an hour. But that's a great way to end it. We just got three counties all at once. And our liege lord didn't get in the way. He let us do our thing. Excellent. So we grew a bunch. We grew a bunch. That's what I want to see. Let's increase the development, uh, nine years, ten years, that's a little too long. I'll just put my steward on collect taxes now. My brother is wounded again? Keeps hurting himself? Alright, I have some things to give away. I have some thinking to do between the episodes. I gotta think about how we're gonna kind of progress here. Because we're getting closer and closer to when we're gonna fight our liege. But I would really prefer to get some secrets against some other vassals before I make this claim it faction. So a lot of stuff to think about. Let's deal with any prisoners that we have. All 20 of them. Let's do this quickly. And then I am going to wrap up the episode, guys. I learned of a Count's secret. Is she an independent? No. The Westerlands owns something all the way over here. She's technically a vassal. Is she an independent vassal, though? Let's see where her taxes go. They go directly to the leash, so... Yeah. Technically, it's not somebody that I want to get a hook on because she's just a count and she's all the way over here. I mean, of course I get a secret against somebody who's basically useless. But technically, she is an independent ruler and I would be able to use this secret and use the hook in order to get her to join my claimant faction. All right, let's tell these prisoners to get out. So I can wrap this episode up.
But overall, a lot of good things happened. I'm a little sad that we didn't have another son. It just wasn't meant to be. But our current son is looking good. Now, another thing to keep in mind while I'm doing this, let's not forget that we got that stupid event, that foreboding event uh, event that uh, we almost fell off our horse. We have to try to remember that that still hasn't come around again. Like, that event is going to come back to haunt us eventually soon, maybe even during the next episode. But I'm just, I'm just saying this out loud, basically, to myself and to you guys. Let's anticipate some stupid stuff to happen next episode. Let's try to get our son ready for the throne as soon as we can. Just in case something bad happens. But anyway, lords and ladies, that's going to do it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button down at the bottom of the video. Leave your comments and subscribe if you would like to uh, subscribe. Join us for future episodes of my uh, Game of Thrones series. Hope to see you guys there. Episode 7 will be coming at you soon. Uh, I took a day off for Thanksgiving, so that's why it took so long to get this one out. But uh, I'm not taking any more days off or anything like that from here on out. Well, at least for the foreseeable future. But I will try to get Episode 7 out to you as soon as I can. But, uh, uh, uh yep, <laughs> I can't seem to end this. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Until the next time, have a good one, guys.